my agenda is very simple mm -hmm. and i have a very serious one yeah we have a very serious unemployment in this constituency mm -hmm. very serious the reason why you you hear people say there is a, there is a, there, there are high voltage politics in baringo south mm -hmm. i i understand because we have people who are so much who have been at home for a very long time some of them are having very good degrees some of them are having first class some of them are having second class upper and there are families with three four five children who have degrees and they're sitting at home my agenda is this we need to sort out unemployment in this constituency which is a very serious and i keep saying this mm -hmm. that any politics that does not uh, that does not consider as a priority the issues youth that politics is not for this constituency mm -hmm. we need to be talking about how to sort out we can build so many schools but if you don't have an agenda for the people who will come out of these students of these schools mm -hmm. then we're just playing, uh, we, we, we're playing dangerous politics. And I'm sure someone who's watching would be interested to know how are you planning to sort out the issue? I am planning point. this, yeah. I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. We have, we, we, there are so many, uh, there are so many non-governmental organizations in this country. Yeah. There are so many parastatals in this country. There are so many opportunities in this country. You know, the, 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 the problem that we have mm -hmm. is that and I want to say this, yep. even before I go where the problem is, mm -hmm. is that I am not seeking for an election. I don't want to be elected mm -hmm. to come and manage the resources that are obvious. And when I talk about the resources that are obvious, I'm mm -hmm. talking about CDF. Yeah. CDF is not money that you have to go and make a lot of kelele in, in Nairobi mm -hmm. for you to get that CDF. That is money that is regulated by the law. And, I and therefore, no, just listen, my friend. I'm, I'm, I'm superimposing your point. You know, you're interrupting me, and time is it's almost there. Uh, <laughs> And <laughs> maybe I'm adding uh, meat to what you no, want no, to no, say. No. Yeah? Can I, can well, I continue? continue. To say. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm saying I am not buying because I want to come and kawan a CDF. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. That is not my point. Mm -hmm. We have we have committees that run constituency fund all the way from national from Nairobi national. National CDF office, mm -hmm. all the way to the sublocation uh, uh, committees. Yep. Those are people who understand the problems that we have in this constituency. I am vying because I want the people of Baringo South mm -hmm. to give me that key mm -hmm. to use it in opening these offices that are in Nairobi mm -hmm. so that we can sort out an unemployment of the youth. I want to bring extra things to this mm -hmm. constituency. I want to bring extra things from NGOs, extra things from, 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 from government departments that have not been entered into. I want to bring um, extra things. You know, can, can, I, can I surprise you, uh, SK? Please do. CDF, uh -huh. the, the, the functions of an MP are three. One is representation. Uh -huh. One is for, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, legislation. Legislation. Uh -huh. And the other one is to supervise what the government is. Oversight. Oversight. Yeah. What the government is doing. Uh -huh. The people in Nairobi, there is a very intelligent person who realized we have to get rid of these MPs from Nairobi and take them back to the constituencies. By doing what? Create a kitty of only 2.5% of the, the national, national budget, budget of the national budget mm -hmm. throw it to the constituencies <laughs> and make the MPs go run <laughs> uh, around with that money mm -hmm. uh, and leave and after taking away the 15 percent to counties mm -hmm. they, they, they they there is 85 82.5 80, percent mm -hmm. of money that remains in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. if you are an mp you cannot even tell your people whether you are brought in even a, a small point a fraction of that 82.5 percent mm -hmm. we have we have non-governmental organizations we are parastatal we, are we want yeah. somebody mm -hmm. who does not come and 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 busy himself or herself mm -hmm. with cdf here but go to nairobi get the things that are not regulated by the law mm -hmm. make noise huh? and the car uko and the kuwa kuwa msumbufu uko mm -hmm. mbaka upate kila ambacho kime back in nairobi mm -hmm. that's what an mp is supposed to do you know, create networks. We want a, a, an MP with a network. Mm -hmm. Yes. So aside from, uh, you've, you've touched on the youth unemployment and it is coming out clearly that you would want to explore. Mandela said, mm -hmm. Mandela said yeah. that if you want to know the direction of a nation, mm -hmm. look at how it treats its youth. And that is very true. Yeah, because the youth is the future. 
here if you mess up with the youth you mess up with the future so politics that are that are based on lies will mess up constituency we need to sort out that all right um, so from you said you have a number of agenda and i think the youth bit is quite elaborate yes yes what are the rest uh, of the other, other other agendas are this yeah you know you can't develop uh -huh. you can't develop if you don't bring in money to a constituency yeah lazima ile pesa ambayo inakuanga hapa ile tuko nayo marigat ile pesa tuko nayo mchongoi kabel tuko nayo wapi we need we need to do something that will bring in money uh -huh. i will give you a very a very good one uh -huh. yeah? i have always been saying according to the government policy uh -huh. the road to south sudan is supposed to be the one from nakuru marigat, marigat uh, Chimalingot, Chimalingot, uh -huh. and all the way to to, to kapedo and, and and lodwa yeah we need an mp that understands that uh -huh. and you lobby you team up with mps from rongai constituency Mogotio constituency, uh -huh. uh, Baringo South constituency, Tiati constituency, and the neighboring constituency in Turkana. And then you lobby so that this road, the government can allocate money to this road and it gets opened up. What it is done? Is Malorizo, Tamazo, Sinalala, Salga, Eldoret, where, where, Bungoma, Kapenguria, Wapi, Wapi, Kitale. All of them will pass through Marigat. I yeah. can tell you, uh -huh. nobody from Baringo South will go to Nairobi to look for a job. We shall all get our money and resources in Marigat. And that's interesting because in 2007, yes. no, 2011, there are. And you know what? Yeah. We shall sort out the issue of the farmers. Yeah. Because these farmers who are, who are in Marigat, uh -huh. they will be able to get their produce just consumed at Marigat. We shall get people from Mochongoi. Mochongoi will not be able to feed Marigat even with milk. They will not be able to feed it. So we shall give our, our, our farmers, our residents, a motician to mm -hmm. work hard. Our to an attack of kazi. But but they cannot get you know you can only work hard if you have something that motivates you. You know. That's true. So if if I'm elected MP, mm -hmm. I will make I will work hard and ensure if possible, do all that it pertains to 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 to, to make the government allocate money to open this road i'm curious about this road because in 2011 when uh, the former prime minister raila odinga was in charge of roads and infra infrastructure he came to Chemo luruk i think he was a delegation sent by the kibaki government mm -hmm. to open that lapset road mm -hmm. have you found out why it took a different route or why it never went the way it was supposed to go in 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 a in a country like kenya mm -hmm. where we have meager resources mm -hmm. we shall always pull if you don't have somebody mm -hmm. who is who is um if you don't have somebody who is vigilant mm -hmm. your resources can only be taken away so we have lacked we have lacked people with that with that with that foresight people who are able to see far mm -hmm. people who are able to know this is something that will benefit my people and that is why I'm saying, and I know other people will come and say, oh, unajua, mimi, nime, nimefanya hii, nimefanya hii, nimefanya hii, barabara. That mm -hmm. is my idea, mm -hmm. and no, no, no politician in Baringo South has ever touched that issue. It is an issue that I have introduced personally, it is mm -hmm. an issue that I can do, and I'm sure when people, when these people nominate me and elect me in August, mm -hmm. next year, I will be, I will be permanently outside the state house uh, gate. Mm -hmm seeking appointment with the president which ambaye najua atakuwa ni ruto uh -huh. to allocate money and to order yeah uh -huh. to order the concerned people to implement the policy that is supposed to open this road this road is in the government uh, government plan it is it, it is, is in the government plan we just need to to to, to remind them that this road as of a state we need to open it up Yep. Yes. Well, yes. we are taking a break, and uh, maybe before we go on that break, uh -huh. maybe you can give a highlight of the rest of the agenda that you have. Then we'll no, we we come back from the break. Then we'll go deeper into them. You want me to say that now? Give a highlight. Um, we also need to sort out number of universities. Mm -hmm. uh, we, need to sort out, we need to sort out infrastructure. Yeah. We need to sort out issue security. Mm -hmm. We need to sort out. Um, there are so many things. You know, these are young constituents. Yeah. So there are so many things that need to be done. Well, we are taking a break and during the break you will